So, welcome back to Tales of Arius. Last time we killed an easy Sugel and we need a starship. Go back to Lanata, to the other planet and defeat them once and for all. Sounds like everything went well. What say we sail and make a way back to the port in Magasha? Yeah, we are searching the starship from Our Alpha. first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. Uh, I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? <laughs> Rinwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. If any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me, too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> My battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Ah, oh, nice Still, talk. If that's true. Then it's all the more reason I have to do this. Come on. <sighs> I think it's safe to rest here now. Ah, we are getting more, okay? 
All right. Something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah. Something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So... Do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself. Mm. But then it occurred to me. Hmm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... <sighs> what am I supposed to do? That is your decision, what you are making. <clears throat> but I hope you are find a decision for him. And... Interesting. Wait a second. We are missing some who... Some oils, not who... Only want to look somewhere. When we are here. Maybe he's activated right now. <laughs> I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. And we can rest here. Or maybe there are two areas we was not before. But we are getting... I've got a good amount of info on our enemies written down now. That's wonderful, Rinwell. I'm sure that data shall prove most useful. I like to think so. If there's anything you want to know, just ask. We are needing something nice. Go on, Lin. This shall suffice. Please, everyone, have as much as you like. Um, I think, Gion, sister... Could we talk <clears throat> a moment? Gion is so Do important. Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but... I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? <clears throat> yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? <sighs> Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a Master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? I'm looking forward to breakfast. <laughs> a little bit Homer Simpson type. Breakfast. Uh, lunch. Morning. Break. Ready to head out? Okay. There we was. There we got our hoodle. I only want to look. Don't think there's one. There's one. We got the one in Nizza.
one thing I will look up, uh, we must go and look about our equipment. And he was not in the castle here. Uh, we finally made it. Oh. Wonderful. Ah, uh, only the second best one. Dualin. Not good weapon. Oh. Wonderful. One for you. And the red shield for you. I s Ooh. Alphonse. Ah, set as an expensive one. Red pill. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. That is really nice. That help us a lot. <laughs> um. So I will really fast trying it. Was we in here? That is a big question. I cannot remember to go in here. Oh. There no way we get into the castle? Okay, one more try and then I'll teleport to the next area. Was a little bit of talking today. Okay, we cannot go there. That looks like an area we didn't get any oodle or oil. Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. But yeah, he's not activating here, and we have. There's one. That is a ranch. There we don't find anyone. Here we have one. I don't see a point here to look. But I will try it. That is the only area I can think of right now. We've reached our destination. But Hoodle is not activating here. Maybe in the mines, but I don't think so. I know I get a lot of... <sighs> we find... And that is the palace. But I get better with controlling this. There's one. Nope. There's one. In the rune, I cannot remember that he was activating. There's one. Okay, I don't think we have missed someone. So we are going back here. I'm sorry to say, but maybe I must look up in the internet. Ah, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us too? Dad. Hey, chin up. This is your hometown. Let's go in. Oh, just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? <laughs> Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears and Dan in disputes. And then, to top it all off, 
That thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenegas. Lenegas? Are you out of your damn mind? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor, but there's a giant Zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. A Zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. Hmm. And Nathan, are you ready yet for what? I didn't notice there's a blazing sword I see. Hmm. hmm. You are low. Are you a uh, Sephiroth's kid? Damn it. Uh, I can't believe a little piss quiz like you is running around with a blazing, blazing sword himself. I'm sure the old man would All be right. proud. Go and head without me. I will catch up later. You got it, boss. <laughs> See you around, Law. Don't walk too hmm. hard now. Didn't you know I that guess. guy? I can't. S I can't. Uh, nee. I cannot say I do. Even if I met the guy before, at last time I would see him would be being. I was really little. You could be at least say hello back to him. I'm for a reason my dad gone. Remember, you all know how much they are looking up to him here. Hmm. Law, sorry I get us sidetracked. Let's get head out. Hmm. Hey, Law, doing okay? Not really. Sepran's uh, death still weighs on us pretty hard. I can blame him for him. Even if I not his fault, it's a big thing to have to care at right. the aid. Yeah, but I trying my best to come turn with it, haven't <laughs> pull out. Good, we are going to need your support. He is uh, still a kid and Sugul's only at one at that. Ugh. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <sighs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... 
It still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. And we have another one. <clears throat> Good. Come on. Ah, wrong side. Oh. Everything okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Actually, Dan and Owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! <laughs> I'll lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention. At least it's funny what they are talking. But, uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, we have a side quest here. Ooh. Okay, we will really fast looking what the side quest is. Looks like we made it here in one piece. <laughs> oh, there is Alpha. Wow. Nice to meet you. Tessa, do you out from Kalakia to help the other mm. things here? Sure I did. I hear what happens. It sounds like the people had even worse than we did. I can believe it. They might be physical free, but a lot of still have long way to go mentally. So it's seen. Actual, I have some knowledge about treating mental heal, heal, heal issues. So I'm going to try to help them thinking independent while Thank I'm you. here. That's really great. But how you plan to help them? Simply by sitting down, talking with them one on one asking some questions seeing how they are response and concealing them that makes sense i wish i had the time to ability to kind of stuff ourselves but it's not really stop feeling like you have shoulder yourself alphonse you are burning yourself out you are know what maybe you and i could sit down together in a session what, what? you say what Really think need consulting that badly? <laughs> Alphonse, no, you get so defensive. Just want to get God how you are doing mentally right now. All right, well, sure. Great. Yeah. Let's work. Great. Already, I want to answer a series of questions. Me, okay? First question: Do you think deeply? Just with your guts, your favorite type of astral energy. Okay, how do you... Uh, most important in your life? My friends, they are well standing... Uh, have you ever heard of the Monsieur Wolf before? Alright, the question now is so you are like a sweet, incredibly mage. You have the honest and sheer personality and 
natural drawing people to do. You are knowing to say in my situation without hurting anyone's feeling. Careful. Some might be thinking about an um, ulterior wow. move. You yeah, know, I never really thought myself like that. Maybe you are. <laughs> hey, hey, that's what I'm here for. You are want to another se season come and talk to me anytime. I was thinking that would be getting a new. I wish I could get an examination. Well, if you say so. Let me see. Uh, yes, you're in well, all right? If only your brain could keep up with your mouth. That was at least nice, even when it didn't bring us something. Yeah. Okay, so the next teleportation point is here. And yeah, it was a lot about a lot a lot Looks of like stories. Uh, I think we will start uh, on the next part here, going in, get the last alls, be happy, and I'm really exciting to see the mountain. With that, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment and I will see you on the next one. Bye!